Before tackling the names of the thumb muscles, we need to address the various actions of the thumb and the names of those actions. But first off, we need to note that pollicis means thumb. This word will be used often in the names of the thumb muscles. Here are the actions of the thumb. For this video, we only need to look at abduction and extension. The distinction between these actions is important. You can see that straightening the thumb, extension, is different from moving the thumb away from the hand, or abduction. Abduction moves this bone away from the hand. It does this when the muscle that is attached to this bone activates and pulls it around the joint. There are two places where the thumb can be extended. Each action is performed by its own muscle. Color-coded, we have abduction and extension. Each of these actions represented by an arrow has one corresponding muscle. So let's look at the bottom one. The muscle that is highlighted in pink abducts the thumb, and it gets its name from that action. Abductor pollicis longus. And just as a side note, the abductor pollicis brevis is in the hand and does not attach to the arm. This is a muscle that extends the thumb. It is the shorter of the thumb extensors. And that's where it gets its name, extensor pollicis brevis. This muscle extends the thumb at the farthest joint and is the longer of the two thumb extensors. The name, extensor pollicis longus, says as much. I'm going to be repeating myself a few times, but I think it's worthwhile to do so from a couple of different viewpoints. Let's look at the attachments. When the muscle is activated and the distance between these two attachments shortens, the thumb will be abducted. So these are the attachments of the abductor pollicis longus. When the muscle of these attachments is activated, it extends the thumb. You can see that it's the short extensor. It is the extensor pollicis brevis. These are the attachments of the extensor pollicis longus. It extends the thumb at the farthest joint. So let's repeat ourselves one last time from this angle. This is the abductor pollicis longus. It abducts the thumb, as the name says. This is the extensor pollicis brevis. Its name tells us about it. It is the shorter of the two muscles that extend the thumb. This is the extensor pollicis longus. It is the longer of the two thumb extensors. The thumb muscles are layered above the wrist extensors and the brachioradialis. Here are the muscles in clay. This is the abductor pollicis longus. This is the extensor pollicis brevis. This is the extensor pollicis longus.